Hello YouTube, and once again, I'm afraid to say my uh, solar system's tripped. Um, we've got a red light on there. Just that's because that's now connected across the battery, but everything else is now off. As you can see, the light down there is off. All the lights here are off. Uh, this is the current uh, charge going in. So we've got 0.8 amps going in. We're going to charge up to here to 1.5 amps. Amp hours already gone into the battery, but it is still very low. I've measured it at 24 volts. But what I have done is I made this resistor to go across to hopefully make the process of reconnecting the BMS a bit easier. And I'll show you how it's meant to work. So this is a 25 watt, 47 ohm resistor. So it's a big power resistor with two croc clips, croc clips, croc clips on each end, and they will go across the negative terminal where the BMS joins. So here. Yeah. So with the one end connected to the neg most negative terminal, this end. Should go here and hopefully nothing explodes. So we have a light on there. The power on this should be charging up and things should start to turn on soon. Hopefully. It's not getting too warm. And so far there is no explosions. These are all good signs. I don't know how to leave it, how long to leave it on there for. Uh, everything else is on in the shed. So I will try and take it off and see if things will come back to life. Maybe. Let's give this a go. Take that off. And everything's gone off again. So I had to leave it on a bit longer. So what I've done now is I've put some multimeter leads across the inverter so we can see the convert the capacitors in the inverter charging. So I'm now going to connect the other end of the resistor. Again, no explosions immediately, and the voltage is rising. The lights have come on again, so clearly they're coming on about five volts, four volts. Well, that's an interesting effect. Didn't expect that to happen, so it's now sitting at four volts. That's probably something happening. So clearly that was a stupid way of doing things and you can leave a comment telling how stupid I am. So I've taken the inverter leads off, used them to short out the BMS using a zero, so they're a zero ohm link. All the power's back on, Google's starting, everything else is starting. That's not on because I've turned the switch, that's why that's not on. Ah, very nice. So now I can use my power resistor on the back of the inverter to charge up the inverter so I don't get a nice big spark. So I can now connect that to that. My hands are too short for a camera, so I'm gonna to have to do this off camera. So that is now charged. I can now take my leads and safely connect them with no spark. There you go, no spark whatsoever, because we've charged pre-charged the caps with that resistor. And it only took a few seconds to do. So I shall now reconnect them. And they are now reconnected, so everything should be working. All we need now is some sun, because again, we are now getting 27 watts of power. Um, I have thought about trying to charge these using the mains, but my power supply is 30 volts at two amps, which is 60 watts. So I won't be able to put any more power in than the solar panel produces. So there's no point really. I'm just gonna to have to wait for a couple of sunny days. And what I might do is disconnect all the external loads because what, what this has highlighted is I really need to switch in there so I can turn off all my external loads so I can let it charge for about a week or so and then bring it back up again. Because that's what's struggling, is the fact it's not getting, it's just sitting at the bottom end. It needs to sit at the top end. But anyway, I'm rambling now. So, hope you enjoyed this rambly, nonsense, make no sense video. And if you did, I shall see you next time. Bye!